Hello again traders, this is Sonkis from Mavic Currencies and in this video we'll be talking about the Euro US dollar pair. Uh, right now we are sitting at some key technical support level. So I've been getting a lot of questions. What do you think about the outlook? Will we break the support? And as you can go back in time, this is a very crucial support that we are sitting at. Then again, this dates back to 2015, 2017 and then here we are. Uh, about five years later in 2022 that we are re re uh, testing that level. So each every time we get to uh, test this level, as you can see, there has been times where it has reversed very nicely. Uh, so the question is that could we reverse from this level or is there further break that could happen? So uh, this is where if you look back in time, you have to start looking for uh, what kind of price action or chart will start to tell you that it's ready to reverse? So notice that each time it didn't have a, a, a pretty uh, a V-shaped recovery. The recovery was pretty slow. I mean, you can go back in 2017, as you can see that we actually got below those levels, you know, quite a few times before making a bit of a reversal. So now fast forwarding to current times and uh, we can see that we are that's where we are right now um so there's no uh, indication that this is ready to reverse yet um and again as uh, we are sitting at this unprecedented times where the yields are rising rapidly and all these central banks are looking to raise rates um you know there's a bit of a tug of war going on and you know we are sitting at levels or breaking levels that you know we haven't broken for for, for a long time so i think that's uh there's that market uh movement that's likely to break um i think we it's worth taking a look at those break uh up to support and resistance levels when we are sitting at or breaking levels that we haven't broken for years I mean, taking a look at other currency pairs like dollar yen that's sitting at 2002 highs. I mean, taking a look at dollar CAD. Dollar CAD is, you know, back above to the levels. Um, or actually, dollar CAD is not the best example here, but I'm sure we can go into other currency pairs and, you know, we will be looking at certain levels that we haven't really tested. I mean, say we are um, looking at dollar Swiss franc and we are you know testing or or trading these levels that we have seen for for past five to seven years so um at this point uh, we are testing that boundaries across the board so before we talk about you know just the euro dollar let's take a look at where the dollar is and where the euro is and we at maverick study all this on a basket uh currency basket so that way you know we are not really heavily skewed with the euro or the or the dollar we just want to take a look at how those currencies are performing overall uh what's the trend and again you can see these is uh, all eight major currencies you know uh, uh paired together and this is where you get a bit of a, a an average of how the currency is doing now you can see where the dollar is right now uh dollar is i mean at the highest level uh, despite that COVID breakout, again, you know, that was some crazy moves that we saw back in 2020. But if you really look at these levels, we are um, testing levels from, I mean, this is goes back to 2009. So we are at some cre critical points where, you know, this is where we see some further breakouts or some reversals. But we have to be prepared for both case scenarios. Now, let's talk about euro. So dollar, we already know it's hitting some key resistance levels. Uh, as you can see that it's actually broken out above having a bit of a pullback today but remember if there is that if this is a trend we want to be buying on those pullbacks instead of selling on those little pullbacks there now the dollar is clearly in an uptrend and and, and in between you know we, we, we will see some sort of bull uh, uh, pullback opportunities but overall the trend is going higher and if we take a look at euro basket now this is a very messy currency because as you can see the euro really is not in a strong trend. Um, so, you know, before we make a strong call on euro dollar and thinking euro dollar is going to reverse, we need the euro to rise and dollar to fall. So we could see the euro dollar rise if the dollar falls. But again, the biggest move will come when both currencies are moving in the opposite directions. Um, euro is not the currency that is moving in a strong leap strong uh, fashion here and there's a lot of uh, you know support resistance levels that we can kind of draw um, so this is a very mild little you know uptrend that we can see um, this is still needs to give us a little bit more brighter better price action before we decide to go bullish on the euro us dollar so at this point uh, i know traders are kind of uh taking bets here and, and then see if maybe this is a good buying opportunity well 
the price action is not telling us so at this point. And again, if you are trying to figure out how would you know or what kind of price action we'll see, again, this is uh, telling us over and over that we don't get a V-shaped recovery as often. Sometimes we get a lot of that uh, choppiness around this level before it actually take off. So again, time is the essence here, and sometimes those could take a little bit longer. So you'll have to always consider your timeline. Say, well, how long I'm planning on holding the trade for? So at this point, this is not uh, a good uh, trade to make just in the short term. I think there's better currencies to play. Um, but something to consider in the coming months, if we hover around this level, so if we don't break it and start to kind of come off of it, uh, then the technicals will start to change. But right now, you know, even on a four hour chart, daily chart, we look very extended, but on a on a weekly chart, it, it almost looks like a bear rally that it wants to kind of go down for. So let the charts uh, kind of turn around before you decide to, well, uh, go and play this onto the upside. But uh, meanwhile, pay attention to other currencies because there's definitely a lot of other things that are, are, are moving along and you have to consider what's the best currency to trade in the moment unless you are a long-term, you know, you're making a long-term trade that you want to hold it for a long time. I mean, as a trader, we want to be looking at momentum. We want to be looking at what's moving. So focus on what currencies are moving. Thanks for watching.